It's a story of courage and tenacity, but one left largely untold in Australia's history books. A group of Aboriginal children were left stranded on a remote Arnhem Land island during World War II bombing raids. Our documentary film crew is recreating their journey across the north to safety. As the Japanese bombs rained down on Darwin, people were being evacuated on a daily basis. But three missionary women and a group of 100 stolen generation children were left on a remote island to fend for themselves. We saw planes going over, but we thought they were friendly planes, but they were Japanese. Almost 70 years later, a documentary film crew is recreating the group's journey to reach safety as they fled Croker Island and trekked across the top end. It was a challenging journey, you know. I think, I don't think Australians are aware of this story. Three Aboriginal women from the original mission group have been on the set, helping the crew map their 44-day expedition across the continent to eventually seek refuge in New South Wales. I just really enjoyed it. I didn't even think it was bad. You could have got bitten by a snake, no shoes. <laughs> The film crew is made up of some of Australia's best Indigenous filmmakers. So let's start over here. Many of the young cast are related to the mission group and have needed coaching. It's been a lot of fun working with the young actors. Uh, they're first time actors and, you know, but I've never really had to teach them to act. I enjoyed most about the film is like this, like helping them make the film properly and like and showing them that we can all do it. The little-known story will get a big-screen debut next year. Action. Emma Masters, ABC News, Darwin.